Dropbox. What is it? How do you use it? How do you set up your account? We're going to be answering all of these questions and more in this video. On a side note, during the past few months, the CyberLab team has ranked, rated, and reviewed all the best cloud storage services available out there. We tested and examined some of the best and most popular cloud providers, including Google Drive, OneDrive, iDrive, Dropbox, pCloud, Mega, and iStrive. Watch this video till the end to find out which one is the best of them all. Also, we're going to show you how you can get a massive 65% discount on our highest rated cloud storage service. Isn't that just amazing? If you're in a rush, check out the description section below this video for all the exclusive deals and discounts. Now, back to the video. First, we'll show you how to set up your Dropbox account. To begin with, open your device's browser and type in dropbox.com. On the top right corner of your screen, you'll see a button called Get Started. Click that button, and it will take you to another page where you'll find Dropbox's range of products. Dropbox products are classified into two categories, personal and business. There are different plans under each category so that you can choose a suitable product for your needs. However, you can also trial products in the business category for free, so do keep that in mind. Dropbox offers a slew of incredible tools such as Dropbox Rewind and File Recovery History, which allows you to recover and restore any data that you've accidentally deleted from your device. Another fantastic security feature is Remote Device Wipe, allowing users to permanently delete files or data from a lost or stolen device. And by default, this function is available on all plans, which is great. But of course, the features and tools that you will get will depend on the plan that you choose. So think about what you need to use Dropbox for before you pick your plan. Now we'll cover how you can use Dropbox to its full potential. If you want to use Dropbox for personal use, you can choose between free, plus, and family plans. Or you can simply choose between standard, professional, and advanced business plans because you can try them out for 30 days before you have to pay. After you've picked a suitable plan, on the next page, you'll see another interface where you can fill in your information in one of two ways. You can either fill in the blanks with your relevant information, or you can sign up using your Google account. Click Sign Up with a Google account. Then, when the Gmail account appears, enter your password if required. Then, click on the right icon Allow at the bottom of the page. From there, you can now enter your team name. You can add more team members if you have a business plan. Your location should be selected automatically, but you can change it if necessary. Following this, you'll be directed to a page to enter your credit card information. You don't need to worry about entering these details because you can cancel your plan once you're done to avoid being charged. Once you've done that, you'll be directed to the dashboard. You can do many things on your personal Dropbox dashboard, including uploading files, creating folders, and accessing all your files. Now, let me walk you through the process of uploading your first file quickly. Click on the Upload icon, and you'll be given the option of selecting Files or Folders. Whichever option you choose will take you to your local directory, where you can choose your preferred files. Your document will be uploaded to your Dropbox dashboard as soon as you click on the selected file. The great part about Dropbox is that you can access your uploaded files from any device attached to your Dropbox account, whether it's a mobile device or a PC. Once you've uploaded a folder, hover your mouse on the uploaded folder, and on the right side, you'll see a three-dot icon. Hover on it, and a highlighted pop-up displaying more will appear. Click on the dots to see a list of other things that you can do with your files or folders. You can share your files with your family, transfer, download, copy, move, and do a number of things, as shown on the screen. Using Dropbox to save your files is simple, and can be done from any location using your Dropbox login details. You can also install Dropbox software on your device for easy access. At the very bottom of the right side of the screen, you'll see a button that says Finish Pro Setup. Click on that, and you'll see a highlighted button that says Download Dropbox. When you click on it, the download process begins immediately, as you can see on the left side of your screen. When you click on the successfully downloaded program, it will request installation permission. Click Yes, and the installation will begin immediately. After the installation is complete, you should see a Dropbox icon on the right side of your screen, which is usually greyed out when attempting to connect to the internet. A page will open automatically, asking you to select which folders you want to sync to Dropbox. Click on your preferred folder, and then click on the Save button. The syncing will continue, and you will see the folder checked when the syncing is complete. You can then check the Dropbox website, and you'll see the newly uploaded files. Uploading files to Dropbox is not the software's only function. 
You can also keep your files organized and in order. On your personal dashboard, there is a button next to the Upload button that displays Create and has a plus icon. Although there are other options available, click on it and select Folder. After clicking, the folder opens up, and you can now name the folder. You also have the option of selecting who has access to the newly created folder. Right there on the screen, you have the choice of only you or specific people. By creating folders on Dropbox, you won't have to create folders in your local directory, which will save you time if you share a lot of content with other people. Folder creation also keeps your files well organized. For each subsequent upload, you can click the Dropbox icon at the bottom of your screen. Click the folder icon next to your profile icon. When you click on that, your Dropbox folder will open. You can drag and drop any file or folder from your local device and upload it online into this Dropbox folder. Another fantastic feature of Dropbox is earning up to 32 gigabytes of free space by inviting friends to join. You can do this by going to your profile icon on the web page, clicking on Settings, and a page will appear with your account details. Click on Plan and scroll down until you see Earn More Space. Click the Invite a Friend button on the right side. You can earn up to 32 gigabytes of free space with this invitation process. For every friend who joins Dropbox through your link, they'll receive 500 megabytes, and you'll receive one gig of extra space. Click on the Copy Link button, and that will allow you to share your unique link with whoever you like. Now that you know all of Dropbox's features and tools, you'll be able to easily choose the right plan for you and get your Dropbox account set up so you can start sharing and organizing your files today. Now, you might be wondering, what's our top pick for the best cloud storage service? It's, roll the curtain, pCloud. With its thrill of awesome features, unbreakable encryption, easy to use clients, and competitive pricing, there is no doubt in our minds that pCloud is the best cloud storage service out there. Also, the great news is the CyberLab viewers can get a special 65% discount on pCloud. All you have to do is click on the official link that we've added in the description box down below, and this discount will be automatically applied. But keep in mind that this offer is only available for a limited time, so hurry up. With that, we've reached the end of this video. As always, if you found this video useful, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons so you can stay up to date with our latest video tutorials. The next video is a must watch. It's our rundown of the best cloud storage services, so don't miss it.